Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Yes. Yes, miss. Okay. Good evening. Welcome. Nice to see you one more time. Okay. Just let me. Um... See what happened right here with the background. My goodness. Just give me one moment. So thank you for being on time. And also uh, thank you for your cameras, right? For the ones that are already with the camera on. So now I do have my background. I don't know what happened before. It was off, but we are here. Okay, so nice to be one more time with you. Yesterday was a kind of, difficult right kind of complicated situation for me well so my internet was not working still i already called you know customer service but still i feel that i have a problem with my connection but uh, at least i'm able to you know be connected right right now but um we are going to have the class today that's the good the good thing the good part thank you for be with your full name, just Mario Juarez. I don't know. Mario Juarez, you have just one name and one last name. Remember, um, last name. yeah, remember that you need to set up full name, right? Two names, two last names in the Zoom app. Okay, so please add your uh, full name, Mr. Mario, because you have just one, okay? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. My goodness. So let's see. Uh, we are 20, 21 participants. Okay. So uh, just to clarify, I guess they already, they already um, mentioned, right, that we are going to um, have the class so that we missed. Um, yesterday right so we are going to have this class this coming friday my goodness so we have monday as vacation right but we are going to have um class this coming friday okay this coming friday so it's just one hour right yo sé que pierden y el cuerpo lo sabe right so but try to do a, the big effort right try to be connected because we are going to have one hour class, okay? So you can be ready, be in the class. And as soon as we finish the class, so you can go out, you can do party, you can go and, you know, enjoy Fridays, right? So es que alguien me dijo, el viernes me voy de party, right? So, but we are going to have class, okay? We are going to have class. It's just one hour class. So please, uh, Try to be connected, okay? If you have inconvenience, you know, because of your job or because of different activities, so just send the, um, a message, okay? A WhatsApp message to my number with your name, your group, and be as a listener. You know what is listener, right? Oyente, be as a listener, but be in the class, okay? No es que me toca estar trabajando, ahí deje el teléfono conectado y se va a trabajar, pero the attendance is the most important thing, right? So you need to be connected no matter what. I told you we don't have permissions right here in this program, right? There are no permissions. There are no permissions that doesn't exist. So solo que tenga acta de defunción, se puede aceptar que usted no esté presente, okay? So if you are not with that um, document, so you need to be here. No, es que mire que voy en el bus, conectes en el bus, no importa. But you need to be 
uh, in the class, no matter what, okay? So let's see, Mario Juarez, one more time, Mario Juarez, solamente tiene un nombre y un apellido, debe de colocar nombre completo según Dewey, okay? Verifique, por favor, okay. que tenga la conexión correcta, porque de esa forma no se le eh, reconoce asistencia, nombre completo según Dewey. Bien, so uh, we are going to start. Okay, so let's see. Tiffany, how are you today, Tiffany? I'm very good, and you, teacher? Exciting, okay? I'm excited because today we have the class, right? Yesterday was kind of impossible, but today we are ready. Thank you, Tiffany. Uh, let's see, Elisa, Maria, what about you? How you feel today? Hello. El día, dice. Yeah, how are you? How you feel today? How are you? I'm fine. Okay, you are fine. Okay, I am fine. I'm great. I'm amazing. I'm ready for the class. I'm so excited because of the class. Okay, I'm glad to be here. So different ways to answer, right? Different ways to answer. Uh, let's see, Sandra, Elizabeth, what about you, Miss Sandra? How you feel today? Ajá. Sandra Elizabeth, you are on mute, Sandra. No se le escucha. Sorry. You are on Sorry. mute. Now, Sorry. yes. Estaba dando una gran letanía en mute, right, Sandra? Yo me fijo y la perdí de vista y después dije, she's talking, right? So, ajá, Sandra, go ahead. Uh, this day uh, is nice because um, we have a rain. Oh, okay, because it was raining. So where do you live, Sandra Elizabeth? Where do you live? In la zona oriental. Well, exactly. Barrios. Oh my goodness. Barrios, that sounds far away from San Salvador, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was a rainy day. The whole day was raining at where you are. Nice. Okay, nice. But it was nice, okay? We need to have a different um, different um, weather, right? So different weather. That's nice. Thank you, Elizabeth. Uh, let's see, Marcos Alberto. Nice to see you with your camera, Marcos Alberto. So tell us, what day is today, Marcos? Hello, good evening. Good evening. It's um, Tuesday. Perfect, yeah. Today is a Tuesday, right? Today it's Tuesday, very good. Let's see. Um, uh, Barosli, so tell us what's today's day, Barosli? What's today's date? Um, now is um, 20, 20. 20? I forget. <laughs> I forget. 20. 20. 29. 29. <laughs> That was May. yesterday. That was yesterday. My goodness, Barosli, you are kind of. <laughs> Late on the time. Now it's sorry. Ah, uh, better May two. No, I <laughs> remember. Jesus. You need to mention the date, the month, the date. Okay, and the year, right? So that would be like the order. Uh huh. Barosley, go ahead. 30 May, Tuesday. Okay, nice, Rosalie. Thank you. Today is Tuesday, May 30th, TH, right? TH, 30th, 2023. So that's the day, right? So that's the day. So nice. I guess that we have full house today because I see that we are more than 30 in the meeting. That's nice, okay? So let's start, like always, you know that we have two 
uh, validate attendance. So that is something very important for us to do it at every single day. So just let me open right here the file and see what is the list for this group. It's this one, P2, la 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 la. Okay, so like always, uh, please uh, let me know if you are here. So today it's uh, Tuesday, oh my goodness. So, uh -huh. uh, Rosley Rosales is here. Present. Nice, Brenda Lisbeth. Brenda, Brenda, no. Uh, let's see, Damaris Lisette. I'm here. Este señor ahorita me está fallando el internet, por eso no, no enciendo la cámara, porque se me va más el internet. Okay, okay, no problem, uh, Damaris. Appreciate your words. Nice. Elisa Maria. Present. Thank you, Miss Javier Enrique. Hello, teacher. Thank you, Mr. Javier. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see, Jose Rodrigo. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. Rodrigo. Uh, then we have Jose Ruben. Present teacher. Nice. Uh, Juan de Jesus. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. Karen Elizabeth. Present teacher. Nice, Miss. Uh, Catherine Griselda. Present. Nice. Eh, Leticia Margarita. Present. Nice, Leticia. Eh, Liliana Abigail. Present. Nice. Eh, Liliana Jamilet. Present, teacher. Nice. Uh, let's see, Marcos Alberto. Present, Miss. Thank you, Mr. Marcos. Uh, Mario Alfonso. Present, teacher. Thank you, Mr. Mario. Marcos, I'm sorry. Mario, Mario, Mario Alfonso. Let's see, uh, Marlon Alexander. Good evening, teacher. Present. Thank you, Mr. Nice. Uh, Milena de los Angeles. Present. Nice. Then we have uh, Miriam Darlene. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Uh, Mirna Griselda. Same here. Okay, Mirna. Monica Elizabeth. Monica Elizabeth. Present. Nice, Miss. Uh, Nelson Vladimir. Present, Miss. Thank you, Mr. Nelson. Reina Margarita. Reina Margarita Hernandez. No. Uh, Ronald Rafael. Present, teacher. Thank you, Mr. Ronald. Uh, let's see, Sandra Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Miss. Sonia Beatriz. Present. <clears throat> Thank you, Miss. Sonia. Uh, Tiffany Guadalupe. Tiffany. Present. Nice. Uh, Jenny Giselle. Present. Thank you, Miss Jenny. Um, let's see, Jenny Marisol. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, Miss Jenny, nice. Yesenia Guadalupe. Yesenia Guadalupe Flores. No, Yesenia, okay. So I remember that Mr. we are going to validate the attendance one more time at the end. I'm sorry, Mr. Nelson, I guess it was you. Yesenia escribió en el chat. Yesenia. Sí. Yesenia Guadalupe. Sí. 
Ok, nice. Y también Reina Margarita dice que no tiene audio. Creo que está okay. presente. Thank you, Mr. Nelson, because you are keeping an eye on the chat. Ok, nice. You're welcome. So, no problem. We are going to validate, you know, the attendance one more time in the at the end, right? So I have a question right there in the chat for you. Where do you live? So that's an easy question that you need to know how to answer, right? I live in um, San Salvador. I live in Sonsonate. I live in Aguachapan. I live in Santa Ana. So where? WH question, where? Lugar, donde? Okay. So um, let's see. Sorry. Ya um, Liliana Jamilet, go ahead. Okay, I thought that you were like with a question, but no. So let me um, share the screen right here really quick and we are going to continue, right? So we are going to continue where we stop. Remember, this is the second week, right? Esto es como que hoy sea nuestro lunes, right? Even though it's Tuesday, but since we didn't have the class uh, yesterday, right? So today it's like Monday. So, um, ahí el grupo de WhatsApp el día de ayer, en el transcurso del día estuvieron enviando información. Esa información es para nosotros, right? So, que el, el comprobante del manual usted lo tiene que enviar, eso lo tiene que imprimir, fir firmar y enviar. So those are your duties, okay? You know what is duty? Cuando le digo duty? Did you get the meaning, the idea when I say those are your duties? I don't understand. I'm sorry? Miss, I don't understand duty. Duties, uh-huh, let's see. Um, no problem, Mario Alfonso, okay? So, aha, uh -huh, when I say those are part of your duties, so what is the meaning of that? Alguien sabe, alguien? No, teacher. That, that's like a synonym word for responsibility, okay? Responsabilidades, okay? Usted dice, hey, That's my um, responsibility, right? So, otra forma de decir eso, eh, that would be uh, duties, right? Duties, um, that would be um, sus responsabilidades, sus compromisos, okay? So, duty. No sé si me captan la idea. It is your duty to arrive on time. Es tu deber llegar a tiempo. Si yo le digo a usted, hey, it's your duty to study. Es su deber estudiar. Okay. So that would be, that would be. I don't know if someone raised the hand. I guess Marlon, Marlon, go ahead. Yes, Mr. Marcos. Perdón. Do you write? How do we write? So the work is duty, duty, okay? Like this in the chat, duty, okay? Duty, 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 duty. duty. okay? Duty. So duty, okay. so that would be eh, su deber, okay? Como le digo, en el chat enviaron, hey, manden el comprobante del manual y aquí que allá, right? So that's your responsibility to do it, okay? No voy a venir yo a enviarlo por usted, usted lo tiene que enviar. So that's your duty, that's your responsibility. Okay, so um, I don't know, somebody else mentioned something, alguien habló por ahí, no sé. Fui yo, I teacher. guess it was you, Marlon, go ahead. Eh, quería saber si lo podía escribir, cómo es lo que está, o sea, la, la, la frase que estaba diciendo, que es nuestra responsabilidad, no sé si lo podía escribir en el It chat. It is para... your duty, vaya, yo les mencioné, por ejemplo, el, este ejemplo, right? So, no digo que, que, yo les dije, it's your duty to send the, Um, the paper, the document, right? That you receive the manual. So, pero aquí hay un ejemplo. Si yo le digo, it is your duty to arrive on time. Es tu deber llegar a tiempo, okay? It is your duty to study. Es tu deber estudiar. It is your duty to do your homework. Es su deber o su responsabilidad hacer tareas. It is your duty uh, to, ¿qué? 
work every day. So, su responsabilidad trabajar todos los días. So, that would be Marlon Alexander. Okay, so that would be an example. And that is the expression, right? So, your duties, okay, plural, uh, deberes, actividades, responsabilidades, como usted lo quiera mencionar, right? So, are we okay with that? ¿Estamos bien ahí? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Yes, teacher. Okay. Nice. So, ¿qué más? Antes que se me olvide, es que esto tiene que eh, decirlo, ¿ok? Estamos iniciando semana dos, right? Semana dos, 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 dos. So, ¿qué trabajo vamos a hacer en la plataforma? Sección tres y examen de mitad de curso, el midterm exam. So, eso no es negociable, eso no es que... Creo que lo voy a hacer. No, tiene sí o sí que para el día viernes, en este caso creo que se nos va a extender definitivo porque ayer no contó. Ok, para el día viernes usted tiene que tener completa la sección 3 en un 80% o más y el examen de mitad de curso. Ok, so vamos trabajando, no se quede, no diga mañana lo hago, ay quizás el fin de, no, recuerde que su semana es de cuatro días nada más y en esos cuatro días usted tiene que dar el resultado. Bien, so that is general information that you need to know, ok? So, ¿estamos bien con esa información? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Ok, very nice. If you have questions, if you have doubts, if you are confused, if you don't know something, please let me know, ok? You can text me, you can send information. And I will be more than glad to help you, okay? So we have right here simple present questions. I guess that we um, stop right here, right? So we were about to complete this exercise eight using uh, the auxiliary do or dust, okay? Creo que les iba a compartir una, una imagen de esto. Do and dust, ok, ¿qué son estos? son los auxiliares, ok son los dos auxiliares que tenemos en el presente simple, ok lo que usted tiene que saber es a quién le corresponde, aquí le voy a mandar do, dust, ok a qué sujeto, así como ya aprendió allá en el módulo 1 que yo digo, she is is es el verbo to be de ella ¿verdad? de un she, entonces lo mismo lo mismo, lo mismo, lo mismo. Acá usted tiene que saber que el do y el does son auxiliares del presente simple, ¿ok? Que son los que acompañan este tiempo gramatical. Ahí le voy a mandar, mire. Do versus does, ¿ok? Yo voy a decir I do, you do, we do, they do, ¿ok? Y para un he, un she, un it, does. Oiga. Apréndase esto, jamás me vaya a decir he do. No, ok, jamás, eso gramaticalmente it's wrong, ok. So jamás me puede decir they does, ok. No, ya dijimos que el auxiliar para un they es do, ok. So the same story as the verb to be, we can create positive sentence, negative sentence, questions using the Simple present, right? So we have some examples right there. I, I send a different picture. I do my homework. You do the dishes. We do the laundry. They do the housework. He does light frights. She does the housework. It does snow every winter. Lisa does her nails, okay? So lo que me interesa a mí que aprenda ahorita es ¿Cuál sujeto, eh, eh, qué auxiliar le corresponde a cada sujeto? Ok, so let's see if we can... Um... I have a question, teacher. Sandra, Elizabeth, go ahead. Sí, eh, ¿qué auxiliar utilizamos cuando hablamos de yours? Sería siempre el mismo do, porque como que hace referencia a él. Sí, definitely yes, ok. Remember que el does es solamente para... Tercera persona, ok, solamente para tercera persona, ok, so ahí no hay pierde, acuérdese, he, she, it, does, todo el demo gentil, do, uh -huh. ok, es oh, una forma sí. fácil de, de que usted lo recuerde, 
Nice. Mm -hmm. So let's see exercise eight. It says right here, complete the conversations with do or dust. Then write four more um, questions, okay? So let's see, we are going to do it right now, okay? No nos vamos a ir a los grupitos de momento. Vamos a aprovechar el tiempo y um, hacerlo de una vez. So, Rodrigo, José Rodrigo, go ahead. Eh, tengo una pregunta. Eh, por ejemplo, ¿cómo es la, la acción para determinar cuándo va a ser la palabra am? o cuando va a ser a ah, porque al final en términos de español siempre vienen a ser un en inglés pero pues, ambas formas yeah that's a nice question y creo que esto se ve en la eh, se ve en el módulo 1 pero mire casual por aquí le voy a compartir a ah, lo voy a usar para renombrar Cualquier cosa, objeto, animal, lo que sea de lo que yo estoy hablando, pero que procede, ok, procede la siguiente palabra con una eh, consonante. Yo digo a uh, duck, ok, yo digo a uh, computer, ok, so el am lo voy a utilizar cuando la siguiente palabra inicia con una vowel, una vocal en español, ¿ok? Yo digo an umbrella, ¿ok? Yo digo an um, eraser, yo digo an um, apple, ¿ok? Porque la palabra que voy a pronunciar después del a o el am, si empieza con consonante es a, si empieza con vocal es am, um, ¿ok? An umbrella, an eraser, an apple, a man, a lamb, a cat, a dog, and so on, and so on, and so on. Ahí les mandé a Rodrigo, hay un, una fotillo para que lo tengan. A veces es más fácil uno viendo una imagen como que se le queda a veces. Todo depende de su forma de aprender, pero visualmente a veces a uno se le queda. Ok, so. Nice, uh, Jose Rodrigo, very good. So let's see, vamos a, en seco, en seco ya de una, okay? Sandra Elizabeth, read the number one. Number one is the example, ya está hecha, solo la va a leer. Uh, do, you, do you get up early on weekdays? Perfect, do you get up early on weekdays? ¿Cuáles son los weekdays? Día de la semana. Los días de la semana, that will be from Monday to Friday, right? Weekend, weekend, that will be Saturday and Sunday, okay? So number two, Griselda Mejia, please continue with the number two. Remember that you need to choose do or dust. What time do you go home? Perfect, what time do you go home? Okay, what time do you go home? Uh, nice, Miriam Darlene. Go ahead with number three. Do your mother work? Mm -hmm. So, Miriam, so your mother. Sería, does, does ah, your mother very work? good, very nice. Does. Tercera persona, su mamá es una ella, right? Does your mother work? Nice. Marlon, Alexander, continue with the number four. Okay, teacher. Sería, who does your father get to work? Okay, so how? WH question, how? How does your father get to work? ¿Cómo va su papá a trabajar? ¿Cómo? En camión, en bus. Caminando en bicicleta, right? So how your father, how does your father get to work? Nice. Uh, let's see, Nelson Vladimir, continue with the number five. Did your parents read in the evening? Okay, do your parents. Okay, since we see letter S right here, this is plural. Ok, Yo veo una S acá en el sujeto, es un plural. Ok, so do your parents read in the evening? Nice. Uh, the last one, the last one will be for uh, Milena. Please, Milena, number um, six. Uh, 
When do your parents shop? Excellent, yeah. When do your parents shop? Okay, nice. Let's see now. Um, Marcos, please try to do a sentence. Question, I'm sorry, question number seven using dust. Try to create a new question using dust. Okay. Dos. Mm -hmm. Dos. Remember when we are going to use das, okay? For un das, he, un she, okay? Does your brother get to park? Okay, does your brother uh, go to the park? Can be, right? So to does your brother. Very nice. Remember third person, right? Third person. Uh, Jenny Marisol, go ahead. Uh, ¿Puedo decir la siguiente? Please, do it, do it. ¿Cómo sabía que a usted le iba a preguntar? That's <laughs> nice. Okay, so number eight. Uh, what time? What time? What time do you sleep every day? Podría ser. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What time do you get up? Okay, porque aquí es como a qué horas, okay? Or oh, probably what time do you eat lunch? A qué horas almuerza? What time do you... Um, play soccer, a que horas juega, okay? So what time, a que horas, what time do you, la, 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 lo que sea, right? Nice, thank you, Marisol, very nice. Eh, let's see, um, ¿quién no le hemos preguntado este día? Vamos a ver. Uh, Rodrigo, José Rodrigo, the number nine, do. Try to create a question using do. Do hmm, do 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 um. Ajá, do remember cuando voy a usar do para cuáles sujetos para todos los que son plurales, right? Do I, do you, do we, do they? Okay, so you no problem. Uh -huh. Perfect. Do you work at the office? Okay, trabaja usted en una oficina. Do you work at the office? Do you work every day? Trabaja usted todos los días. Okay, do you work um, in a hospital? Trabaja en un hospital. So, and the last one that will be for when. Okay, WH question. Uh, Berosley, go ahead with when. When, when do you, when do you buy a juta for me? Uh, repeat it one more time, please. I'm sorry. When do you buy a guitar for me? Where do you buy the guitar for me? Or where do you buy whatever for me okay nice can be when right cuando when do or when does dependiendo de el sujeto okay so let's continue okay so we have um, scramble do you know what is the meaning of um, scramble um scramble um scramble the questions to complete the conversation then ask the partner the question and answer with your own information so we are going to scramble. ¿Qué dijimos que era un scramble? Revolto. Revolteado. Descifrar. Revolvido es. <laughs> ok, so cuando usted vea una indicación que diga un um, scramble, um, quiere decir que está desordenado. Ok, las palabras están en desorden y usted tiene que ordenarlas para generar Una pregunta o una respuesta o una oración dependiendo eh, el, el ejercicio que se esté haciendo, right? So, siempre que usted vea una indicación que dice unscramble, piense, hey, esto está desordenado y hay que poner todo 
en orden, ok? Look at the number one. Number one is the example. Está you every day exercise do. So we need to create the sentence using do or does. No olvide el auxiliar del presente simple que es do or does, ok? Do you exercise every day? Yes, I exercise every day, ok? So now we are going to try to do the rest uh, three. Three other questions. So we are going to create the small groups and we are going to complete it, okay? So I will give you four minutes, okay? Solo son tres que usted tiene que um, scramble, formular la pregunta en el orden correcto, okay? So are we clear what we are going to do in four minutes? Está claro lo que usted va a hacer en el grupo de trabajo? Yes. Okay, so let's do it right now because of the time. So we don't have like 10 minutes to do an activity. We need to do it really quick. So let me open the rooms and be ready.
Okay, so welcome back. No sé si completaron la actividad, pero the time was over. No podemos estar más de five minutes out of the main room. So let me let me share the screen one more time and let's see if we get the answer. So if now we will do it right now. So my God, let's see. Um, um, Nelson Vladimir, help us with the number two. So what would be the question? What time do you eat lunch? At 1 p.m. Okay, perfect. What time? Mm -hmm. What time do you eat lunch? A at 1 p.m. Nice. Uh, Milena, number three, please go ahead with your question. And does this class at the start eight o'clock? Mm -hmm. One more time, one more time. Solo una palabrita está ahí. Ajá, does this class at the start eight o'clock? Y el at, ¿dónde me lo dejó? In the at, at o'clock. Okay, okay, nice, okay. Does this class start at eight o'clock. Remember, signo de pregunta. Ahí está, hay que sonar el de la, como una pregunta, right? Does this class start at eight o'clock? No, this class starts at nine o'clock. Okay, uh, Tiffany, the last one, number four, please. When do you, when do you study English? Okay, let's see. When do you study English? Okay, when, cuando? Oh, I study English in the evening. Okay, so when. Nice. Okay, so if you see, we have this action, right? So right now, please write in your notebook. Okay, espero tenga cuaderno donde sea que tenga ahí para anotar. Please write two questions using do and two questions using Dust. Pre cualquier pregunta, hágala rapidito, pero así ve para en un minuto la dos. Ok. So, dos with do and two with a dust. Ok. Remember, you can use different subjects. Ok. Okay, ready? Casi, casi. I am ready. Okay, so Ronald, Ronald. Thank you, Ronald. So um, those are questions, right? So you are going to choose one of your classmates um, and you are going to ask one of the questions so right now uh choose one of your classmates and ask one question using do please do you love me who a quien está preguntando que pregunta más directa <laughs> do you love that's me? that's uh, the example right <laughs> and do you eat chinese food Ok, but to whom? ¿A quién, ¿A quién le está dirigiendo la pregunta? Choose one of your classmates. Anyway, anyway. No, you need to mention the name. Ah, uh, um, for the class. Mm -hmm, one from the class. Um, my answer is for... Um, Reina Margarita. Okay, I guess that she's the one that it's without audio. So she's not available right now because of the audio. So choose somebody uh, else. Berosli Rosales? Uh, she is here. So go ahead. One more time, the question. Uh, uh, do, you, she, do you eat Chinese food? 
very early. Yes, yes, I like it very much. Mm -hmm. Chinese food. Okay, okay, so let's see. This is something that we are about to see as well, right? So, do, grabese esto, aprendase esto, okay? Si a usted le preguntan con el auxiliar do, usted responde con el auxiliar do. Si a usted le preguntan con el verbo to be, usted responde con el verbo to be. Por ejemplo, yo le digo a usted, hey, are you happy? No me puede decir usted, yes, I do. Aunque usted me diga eso, yo entiendo que usted me está contestando que sí, que está feliz. Are you happy? Y usted me dice, yes, I do. Yo le entiendo. Pero gramaticalmente está incorrecto. Right? So, si yo le digo a usted, are you happy? Usted me va a decir, yes, I am. Or, no, I am not. So, Respondo como me preguntan. Me preguntan con el verbo to be, respondo con el verbo to be. En este el caso be, estamos en el simple present. Entonces, presente entonces simple. Tuve hablar, entonces me tuve que hablar decir I do. Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Son respuestas no. cortas, right? Yes, I do. Ahora yo quiero dar una respuesta completa. Yes, I do. I like coffee. Lo que sea que le estén preguntando, right? So a little bit uh, more like the explanation, right? So nice. Now, Rosalie, choose one of your classmates and ask one of the dos questions, okay? Diga a quién y hágale una pregunta usando dos. Does your parent live in um, El Salvador? To whom? ¿A quién le está preguntando? Um, I don't remember. Sorry, ve ahí en la meeting los, los names, ok, para ver a quién le va a preguntar a usted. Brenda, Alicia. Ok, so Brenda. Ajá, go ahead with the question. Does your parent live in El Salvador? Does your parent, does your father probably, right? Porque si usted me dice parents, es plural. No puedo usar el auxiliar does. Tendría que ser el auxiliar do. So, está preguntando si el papá o los papás. ¿Cuántos? Father. Does father. your father ah, okay, live perfect. in El Salvador? Does your father live in El Salvador? Um, ¿Qué se me hizo la pregunta la persona? Creo que no sé si está. ¿Quién fue la persona que mencionó? Perdón. Uh, Berosley. Brenda Lisset. Brenda, 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 Brenda. Brenda de Señales de Vida. Brenda, Brenda, Brenda. No. Brenda Lisbeth Morales González. Hola, hola, hola. Si no, Javier Enrique. Javier Enrique Sánchez. Sí. Javier. Ya ven, o sea... Por ese motivo yo no le pregunto a la gente que no tiene cámara, porque mire, están ahí de cuerpo presente, nada más. Porque no sé, no dan señales de vida. Nelson? Nelson Vladimir. Nelson. Can you repeat the question, please? Perfect, thank you. Okay, mister. My question is, does your father in live El Salvador? 
Mm, one more time, Rosley. Hoy la leí yo ahí al revés. Vuelva a leer la pregunta. Does your father live El Salvador? Perfect. Does your father live in El Salvador? Nelson? Yes, he does. He lives in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Nice, Nelson. So just the letter S, okay? Yes, he does. He lives. Tercera persona. He lives in El Salvador, okay? Very okay. nice. Thank you, Nelson. Now choose one of your classmates and uh, go ahead with a question using do. Okay. Con el axilar do. Yeah, do. Okay. Mm. Milena de Los Angeles. Okay. What time do you go to the bed? What time do you go do to you bed? Go okay, do you go to, to bed? Mm -hmm. Milena? Uh, I go to the bed at, at nine o'clock, maybe. Okay, very early. Yes. <laughs> okay. So nice. Thank you, Milena. So nice question. The only thing is that this one is a, like a WH question uh, with the auxiliary, right? So, but it's nice. That's a valid question and also a valid answer. Okay. So because of the time we are going to continue, yo sé que todos quieren que les haga la pregunta de la del do y el das que usted ha um, escrito, pero el tiempo pasa bastante, bastante rápido. Antes que se me olvide, por acá habían unas time expressions. Aquí está. So these time expressions are for a uh, simple present, okay? Early, late, every day, at night, at noon, at midnight, at night, in the evening, in the afternoon, in the evening, on Sundays, on weekends, and on weekdays. So estas son time expressions que yo voy a usar siempre que yo estoy haciendo uso del presente simple, okay? So we have an, um, an activity about reading right here. So what's your schedule like? So what is the schedule? Schedule. What is that? What's your schedule like? Agenda. Agenda, ¿quién da más? Schedule. Itinerario. ¿Cuál es tu rutina? Routine, itinerario. Simple. Schedule means horario. Ok. Horario. What's your schedule like? ¿Cómo es tu horario? Puede ser horario de trabajo, horario de estudio horario de comida, lo que sea, right? So what's your schedule like? Esa es la pregunta, ¿cómo es tu horario? Okay, it says, look at the pictures and uh, labels. Who gets early, who gets up late? Okay, so we have three different uh, people right here. Brittany, we have Joshua, and also we have Maya Black. So we have different uh, characters. Brittany, for example, she's a colleague student. So colleague, it's like university, right? So allá le dicen al college. Voy a ir al college, le dicen. Esta, para la universidad, lo que nosotros le decimos universidad. So we have uh, Joshua Borms. He is a website designer, right? Website designer. And we have Maya Black. She is a rock musician, rock musician. So um, we are going to read, okay? So probably we are not gonna finish today, uh, but tomorrow we are going to continue, okay? So tomorrow we are going to continue with the reading. So I'm going to stop like two or three minutes before the class because I have to move on to the different, to a different link, right? So yo tengo que irme rápido de acá e irme al otro grupo, okay? So if you realize, so I'm trying to 
open the the room like five or seven minutes before. Siempre voy a tratar de iniciar la clase de ustedes eh, unos cinco minutos antes para que podamos desocuparnos unos cinco, dos, tres minutos antes al final también. Ok, para que me dé chance de cerrar esta reunión, irme a Zoom otra vez, cargar el nuevo link, abrir el otro y estar allá a las nueve en punto. Ok, so because of that, so yo siempre voy a you know, try to be in this room like five minutes to eight, okay? Y así terminamos five minutes to nine. So, uh, before to let you go, just I want to validate the attendance, okay? Yo sé que la gran mayoría ya respondió la asistencia, solo hay una persona que no tiene asistencia este día y es uh, Brenda Lisbeth. So, Brenda Lisbeth no está. Bien. Eso. Miss. Ya. Yeah. Eh, había escrito al chat de WhatsApp que la, como que tenía mal la señal y la sacó de la clase varias veces. Y estuve intentando y ya no se pudo incorporar al final. Ah, ok, ok. Quiere decir que sí estuvo acá. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Teacher. Go ahead. Eh, buenas noches, soy Reina Margarita. He estado en la clase, solo que no sirve mi cámara. Ok, so I, I, I guess I already strapped the attendance, ok? Uh, no problem, Reina Margarita. Appreciate it that even though you have some difficulties with your internet, you are in the class, ok? Remember, aquí ya dijimos, aquí solo que me muera, no vengo a la clase de ahí. No hay escapatoria. So, no problem. So, time is over. Please work in the platform. Ya sabe que tiene que trabajar en la plataforma sección 3 y examen de mitad de módulo. No espere que llegue el día que lo hay que entregarlo. Se téngalo antes, ¿ok? So, uh, time is over. Appreciate it, ¿ok? I hope to see you tomorrow exactly the same time and the same link. And uh, good night. Bye bye. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye Miss. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night.